Healthcare IT News, we're speaking today with Brantley Whittington, president of EHR Vendor Extremity. Thank you for being with us today, Brantley. My pleasure. So can you please tell us about yourself and give a brief history of Extremity? Sure. Uh, I am the CEO of Extremity, which is the expensive, exasperating, exhausting electronic health record company. Uh, prior to starting up Extremity, I was actually a hedge fund manager. I was sort of in that top 10% that worked with the 1% who managed the money of the other 99%. Uh, and I made buckets full of cash. Uh, and then one day I read an analyst report about how much money, how much investment was going into healthcare IT. So I decided, you know what, maybe it's time to give something back and start a company. So you talked a little bit about the costs of EHRs. What makes EHRs so expensive? What are these hitting costs? Well, you know, the expense is not, is not really in product development because we offshore that. Most of that is done uh, in other countries by 13-year-old kids. And we're able to compensate them primarily with free video games, as much soda pop as they want, uh, access to Western style snack foods, that sort of thing. The real cost in operating a company like Extormity are the lavish executive salaries, the bonuses, um, building on continually to our opulent uh, world headquarters, as well as all the satellite offices that we have in strategic locations like Switzerland, uh, the Cayman Islands, Belize, you know, places where, where health care IT is really starting to take off, of course. Um, and, you know, there's even the maintenance of our aircraft. I mean, people don't understand how much it takes to, to you know, just to fuel a, a corporate jet these days. It's, it's astronomical. Um, we've also got a, a really exciting uh, product launch. Uh, we're starting something new called Extormafetti. And I don't know how many of you uh, happened to catch the news about the, uh, the New York Giants after their Super Bowl win. They had the customary ticker tape parade uh, in downtown Manhattan. And uh, there were reports that, that uh, some of the confetti actually had protected health information. There were actually shredded patient records. Uh, I'm proud to say that that was actually an, an extormity product. And what we do is, uh, you know, most of our clients actually are scanning in paper records because, you know, frankly, it's pretty difficult to do electronic documentation in our application anyway. Uh, but what happens is, is once you scan that in, it's automatically shredded. And most of our clients then pay us handsomely to haul that away. Now, they're all, of course, assuming that we take that and destroy it in a safe, secure fashion. But we're actually repackaging it. So we, we sell that to, to uh, party planners. Uh, we sell it to people who, uh, who organize parades, uh, to Bulgarian identity thieves. So, you know, there's a, there's a tremendous secondary market there. Have customers been satisfied with uh, Extormi's EHR? Have you had any complaints? Um, we've actually developed our own satisfaction scoring uh, uh, methodology, which we call the uh, Adjusted Dissenter Index. And what we do is, is we rely on the fact that, that if, you, if you can file a complaint with Extormity, which you can do, but it's not easy. I mean, there's this really Byzantine series of calls and steps that you have to go to through to actually file a complaint. But even if you're not able to do so, we know that uh, the old rule of thumb is that, you know, for every dissatisfied customer, they tell uh, a dozen uh, other people. But we kind of count on the fact that, you know what, by the time you've told the same story 12 times, people stop listening. You know, it's, it's maybe the first couple of people say, oh, yeah, maybe I ought to check this out. But over time, it's sort of like blah, 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 listen to this person whining about another failed healthcare IT implementation. And at the end of the day, we figure, you know what, uh, if our name is getting out there, ultimately that's good for us. Right. What is an ACO and how does it relate to Extremity's business? Um, for us, we've defined it very simply as another cash opportunity because we know that, that any time you go to a new model like a medical home, an ACO, uh, change, a changing reimbursement type model, um, one thing's for sure, it's going to require healthcare IT and lots of it. So for us, it's another revenue opportunity. So a little current news information. What presidential candidate is extremely backing and why? For us, you know, we really don't take a position um, on which political candidate would be best in the upcoming election. Uh, just as we, you know, we really don't take a position on different religions, um, with the possible exception of those, those churches where they handle snakes. I mean, those places just give me the willies and you know what, I don't think the people that go to those churches are big users of healthcare IT, so I don't care if I offend yeah. them. Yeah. All right. So what are your thoughts on Meaningful Use Stage 2? 
Um, you know, a lot of vendors uh, really, really, you know, pitch to fit about uh, stage one, let alone stage two. And, you know, many in the vendor community say, well, we ought to hold off. You know, people are still, you know, coming up to speed on, on stage one. But for us, stage two is, uh, again, another revenue opportunity because we have to do additional development work and of course we're going to pass on the cost of that development work to our to our clients and then they're going to have to pay us for implementation and training and and we'll probably elevate their monthly fees so not only are we uh, really excited about stage two we want them to get st started right away on stage three uh, and we're actually uh, doing some lobbying to add a stage four and five uh, is, is within the next 24 months because it, it continues to feed the machine. This is Kelly from Healthcare IT News and we're here with Bradley Whittington of Extormity.